Oxymetazoline is a selective alpha-1 adrenergic receptor agonist and alpha-2 adrenergic receptor partial agonist. It is a topical decongestant, used in the form of oxymetazoline hydrochloride. It was developed from xylometazoline at E. Merck Darmstadt by Frustorfer in 1961. Oxymetazoline is generally available as a nasal spray. Medical uses Oxymetazoline is available over the counter as a topical decongestant in the form of oxymetazoline hydrochloride in nasal sprays such as Otrivin, Afrin, Operol, Dristan, Dimetap, Oxyspray, Fasamin, Nasavin, Nostrilla, Sudafed Ohm, Vix Sinex, Zycam, Sinophrin, Drixoral, and Mucinex Full Force. In the United States, oxymetazoline 1% cream is approved by the Food and Drug Administration for topical treatment of persistent facial erythema redness associated with rosacea in adults. Due to its vasoconstricting properties, oxymetazoline is also used to treat nose bleeds and eye redness due to minor irritation, marketed as Visine LR in the form of eye drops. Side effects and special considerations Rebound congestion Rebound congestion, or rhinitis medicamentosa, may occur. A 2006 review of the pathology of rhinitis medicamentosa concluded that use of oxymetazoline for more than three days may result in rhinitis medicamentosa and recommended limiting use to three days. In a submission to the Therapeutic Goods Administration, a Novartis representative concluded, The justification was not based on evidence. Citing an existing extensive body of evidence and noting a range of recommended periods from 10 to 5 days, Novartis recommended the established 5-day period for its use for self-medication without medical consultation as it coincides with the typical duration of the common cold. Use in pregnancy the Food and Drug Administration places oxymetazoline in category C, indicating risk to the fetus cannot be ruled out. While it has been shown that a single dose does not significantly alter either maternal or fetal circulation, this subject has not been studied extensively enough to draw reliable conclusions. Overdose If accidentally ingested, standard methods to remove unabsorbed drugs should be considered. There is no specific antidote for oxymetazoline, although its pharmacological effects may be reversed by alpha-adrenergic antagonists such as phentolamine. In the event of a possibly life-threatening overdose, such as a hypertensive crisis, benzodiazepines should be considered to decrease the likelihood of seizures and convulsions, as well as reduce anxiety and to lower blood pressure. In children, oxymetazoline may produce profound central nervous system depression due to stimulation of central alpha-2 receptors and imidazoline receptors, much like clonidine. Pharmacology Mechanism of action Oxymetazoline is a sympathomimetic that selectively agonizes alpha-1 and, partially, alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. Since vascular beds widely express alpha-1 receptors, the action of oxymetazoline results in vasoconstriction. In addition, the local application of the drug also results in vasoconstriction due to its action on endothelial postsynaptic alpha-2 receptors. Systemic application of alpha-2 agonists, in contrast, causes vasodilation because of centrally mediated inhibition of sympathetic tone via presynaptic alpha-2 receptors. Vasoconstriction of vessels results in relief of nasal congestion in two ways. First, it increases the diameter of the airway lumen. Second, it reduces fluid exudation from postcapillary venules. It can reduce nasal airway resistance (NAR) up to 35.7% and nasal mucosal blood flow up to 50%. Pharmacokinetics Amidazolines are sympathomimetic agents, with primary effects on alpha-adrenergic receptors and little if any effect on beta-adrenergic receptors. Oxymetazoline is readily absorbed orally. Effects on alpha receptors from systemically absorbed oxymetazoline hydrochloride may persist for up to 7 hours after a single dose. The elimination half-life in humans is 5 to 8 hours. It is excreted unchanged both by the kidneys 30% and in feces 10%. History 
The oxymetazoline brand Afrin was first sold as a prescription medication in 1966. After finding substantial early success as a prescription medication, it became available as an over-the-counter drug in 1975. Schering Plow did not engage in heavy advertising until 1986. From the late 1980s to mid-1990s, Afrin featured in many notable television advertisements. Some of these commercials showed men, women, and children using other brands of nasal sprays, and then standing upside down or hanging upside down from playground equipment to prevent their nasal spray from dripping out. This was juxtaposed with Afrin users having no problems. Society and culture Brand names Brand names include Afrin, Drixine, Dristan, Nasivan, Nasivian, Nezari, Nostrilla, Logican, Vix Sinex, Visine LR, Sudafed Ohm, Zycam, Otrivan Oxy, Sinophrin, and Mucinex Sinus Max. Equate. References <laughs>